Guys, there's a brand new blockchain application that's hit the scene called friend.tech that has opened up a world of possibilities to make passive income with social tokens. This is an idea that's been incubating inside the crypto space for a few years now, and it's finally here and holds the potential to be a game-changing use case for the industry. So trust me, you want to pay attention to this. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this emerging trend in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. Talk about what it is, how you can use it, you know, how you can make some money from it, and potentially even get an airdrop. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then definitely smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you like the idea of making money inside of crypto, then the best way to do that is to break into the industry and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's jump into this. So what is friend.tech? Well, it's an application that supports social tokens on the base blockchain, where basically you can purchase shares in different online creators that get you access to part of their community and buy this token or community that could potentially lead to some financial gain where everyone shares part of the profit for doing this. So let me break that down a little bit more. Let's first talk about the base blockchain. So what is it? Well, I just made a video about this recently talking about how it's a brand new blockchain ecosystem where lots of new tokens have launched and have posted 10x returns or more in a matter of a few short days. But basically, BASE is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. So it piggybacks off the Ethereum blockchain. You pay the gas fees in Ether. And anytime there's a new ecosystem like this, there's always new projects that want to launch because there's capital rotating from different spots in the cryptocurrency space and everybody wants to explore the new ecosystems. And on top of that, we now have a new use case that's hit the scene. It's a completely new asset class for people to speculate on. And if you've been around crypto for any length of time, you know that people love shiny new technology that offers speculation. This holds the potential to create new narratives for crypto and new trends that can be absolutely explosive during bull markets. And while I still consider us, you know, kind of in this crypto winter that's been around for a few years now, we actually could be at the beginning of a brand new bull cycle that starts for the next few years. And if that's the case, then there could be some tremendous opportunities here. Again, not financial advice, but telling you to buy any specific cryptocurrencies that might be mentioned in this video. And so with that being said, let's take a deeper look at what are social tokens in the first place, because this is the use case that's being explored on friend.tech. Well, it's an idea that's been around the crypto space for quite some time now. I started talking about these back in 2021 during the last bull cycle as an emerging use case and predicted that they would actually arrive and start to gain some traction. You can go check out those videos if you want to, but make sure you turn on notifications and subscribe to this channel to find out about these because I always start talking about these ideas as soon as they enter the scene and it might take some time for those ideas to actually materialize, but that's what you want to do. You want to find out about it and get ready for the opportunity before it arrives. And this is an example. So social tokens in short are basically a way for you to invest in creators and take ownership in part of their community. It's a very Web 3.0 idea of togetherness where Web 2.0 is a little more extractive where you have somebody that's just creating something of value that's more extracting value from the end user. This is a Web 3.0 idea where everybody can kind of be behind the same venture together, where you get access to community where you all are sharing ownership and can become incentivized to grow that pie even more. And so what friend.tech does is allows creators to opt in to issuing a token and then other people can buy those tokens, which can go up in price. And then the token holders, you know, get access to, you know, group chats with the creator and other people that are a part of the community. So it's a very gated experience that only people who are token holders get to be a part of. So currently friend.tech at the time recording this video is a really small niche launch that demonstrates the potential of what you can do here. Really, it's it's just launched for a tiny portion of you know crypto Twitter influencers on one social platform and talk about crypto. It's a very crypto native at this point, but this can easily grow and expand to massive influencers with tens of millions of followers and even big online brands. I mean, think about people like you know Disney or Coca Cola or Doritos that all have big social media presences where they could potentially create a new asset class and experience of ownership for their tribe. So this could start really small right now, really niche, but also grow to a much larger scale. There's also the potential for friend.tech to get started and become acquired by a bigger platform. Okay, think about like Twitter or x.com now as it's been rebranded. There's nothing like like if this gets traction, there's nothing to stop X from just, you know, buying friend.tech and incorporating it in their platform or, you know, basically just building the feature set from scratch and issuing social tokens into their platform as well. I think this is very possible because Elon Musk has talked about making X.com and everything app with lots of financial use cases to be a, a massive portion of the overall financial ecosystem. And in addition to, you know, big brands going in the direction of social tokens or other platforms like X, maybe incorporating this into their feature set. 
I think it's also very likely that we'll see some of this stuff, you know, probably move in the direction towards something like an OnlyFans, okay, for better or for worse. I'm sort of just calling it as I see incentives and human nature and how technology tends to develop in that direction, especially with new early use cases. Okay, so how can you use friend.tech and how can you potentially make some money off of it? So right now it is a mobile application. So you can go to the friend.tech website and it will redirect you on your mobile device to download the application itself, okay? So when you do that, you're going to connect your Twitter account. And you know, unfortunately, there's not a lot shown on my screen because this is a mobile application. I have a good way of just porting the mobile uh, app over to my screen here. But that's the first steps, okay? Now, also the time recording this video, unfortunately, uh, it is invite only. So when you sign up, you have to have an invite code. But you might be able to find some of those floating around different social media accounts, okay? People are incentivized to put out these invite codes to bring more people into the platform. You also might be able to look inside of Discord groups or other private communities where they might be sharing these invite codes as well. All right, so once you signed up and you've downloaded the app, basically at that point, you're going to see a list of creators available to you know buy into their communities. So basically, you're just purchasing tokens. And whenever you have those tokens, you have access to one-on-one -on -one more community chats with the creators and the other people who hold the tokens as well. In addition to basically being able to watch those tokens potentially appreciate in value. But in terms of value appreciation, you know, the the purchasing model for uh, friend.tech tokens has that built in because basically it's it's what's called a bonding curve. So as you purchase tokens, like the other tokens purchased after that uh, are more expensive. So intrinsically, the token does appreciate in price as people are buying in and gives you some potential liquidity to sell into. Now, in addition to buying these tokens, there is a fee. I think it's around 10%, which gets going to get split up between the platform and also the creators itself. And so that's one way to make money is essentially to, you know, find different Twitter accounts that you think are, you know, worth something and purchase their tokens. But on top of that, there is a potential to get some airdrops. So you do get points inside the application for taking certain actions and you can see the points that you're accruing towards getting, um, an airdrop from this application in the future. That's another way to get some free crypto for doing this. But a couple of warnings that I'll issue here uh, with this application, because you always need to know what you're getting yourself into before you even try something like this. I'm not telling you to buy specific cryptocurrencies on this, not financial advice. Uh, but a couple of things. One is you have to be wary of scams on the application, just like in all of crypto, where somebody launches a fake version of something and you buy it and that's not the real thing. So you see this on DEXs all the time. People launch fake versions of the tokens. You have to watch out for that. Similarly, you might have people that are you know, impersonating you know, different creators like Vitalik Buterin or something and it's not the real Vitalik and you buy their token and you buy something that's not even you know related to the thing that you thought you were buying into. So you have to watch out for that. The other thing is um, there's really no privacy policy on here. So if you give any information over to friend.tech, uh, we have really no idea uh, about how they're using the information behind the scenes. And then lastly, there's always the question of regulatory concerns. Like, are all these creators just um, launching unregistered securities on this platform? Uh, well, that's a good question. And there's definitely lots of reasons to exercise caution before you would launch your own token on a platform like this. Um, but, you know, there's a couple of things. One is we are seeing some positive moves in terms of crypto regulations, in terms of what's really gone after in terms of securities. And I do think we'll get uh, more clarity on this type of thing over time, which could make these social tokens more of an investable use case. OK, we're going to need that type of green light before we'd see massive brands do something like this because it's a terrible you know, risk reward scenario for them to risk their reputation and lots of money because they're a big fish before they try to do this. But if we do get clarity in that direction, then I could see this type of thing really taking off over time. A lot of these early creators, um, you know, there's more opportunity for them in this time when there is kind of a gray area. It's just a classic risk reward where there is more risk, but there's a lot more upside and maybe more limited downside for them if they are a smaller creator in this case. But I do think there is potential here. All right. So that's an overview of friend.tech and how they're using social tokens right now on the blockchain. Again, this is a use case I've been talking about for quite some time. And now we're seeing a pretty interesting implementation for this hit the seams. There's some opportunities to make money here, uh, but there's also a lot of gray area in terms of regulations about what has to happen and get clarified before this could expand to a much bigger use case with big brands, major platforms uh, that exist in more Web 2.0 social media now. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. And if you are interested in the idea of making money in the crypto space, then the best way to do that is to double down on your skills and become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that over at adaptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp.
You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Daffy Diversity.